so far in our Lent videos, we've been looking at individuals or maybe even a church, but now we've looked at a whole city. And you think when a whole society has got it so wrong and doesn't know where they're going, turned away from Jesus, is there any hope? Yes, there's great news in Jonah, great news for even whole cities and countries. Because what happened was when they heard Jesus speaking to them from through Jonah, the whole city stopped from the least important person right up to the highest, even the king. And the king himself says, let's cover ourselves in sackcloth and ashes. We've got it so wrong. And in fact, they do an extreme fast. They eat nothing and even drink nothing for 40 days and 40 nights, showing that they can't bring themselves life and they've come to see they need Jesus to give them life. They realize that all men are like grass and their glory fades. It soon goes. And what happens? Jesus forgives them. The whole city from the king all the way down. Over 120,000 people are saved by turning to Jesus. He forgives them. The violence stops. They had new lives now. They were new people in Jesus. What an exciting time that people weren't living for what they could get hold of and fighting each other for it now. They were giving things away, being generous, just like Jesus and trusting him. Is there hope for huge cities and societies? Yes, Jesus has that amount of power and his death and resurrection is that powerful to forgive. But it does come with a warning. After only a hundred years, maybe three or four generations time, we get to the book of Nahum. And this is a really important point that each generation needs to see this for themselves. Only a hundred years after, it seems like Jesus has been totally forgotten again. And they go back to all the killing and fighting that they were doing before. Just over a hundred years ago here in Wales, new churches were being built every week because they needed to find space for over a hundred thousand people who trusted in Jesus in the 1904 revival. Whole communities were praying and singing and reading the Bible together. Whole streets were praising God because they knew forgiveness for sins and eternal life. But would you know that now in our town? Is it recognisable now? In our country, it seems like nothing is left of those days apart from a few empty church buildings scattered around. It's a warning to us. All of us in this town of Barry need to turn to Jesus again and live. There is hope. There is new life, even for huge numbers. Let's call on him together. Turn to Jesus and live. Why will you die?